What's up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of Merrick's Garage. I should say this month's episode because I've gotten pretty, pretty shoddy at my update schedule. But today I'm introducing you to a very tall person. His name is Zach and he's six foot nine. <laughs> That's the first thing you have to mention about me. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's pretty the first noticeable. Thing you notice, I guess. It's pretty noticeable. So Zach is a new addition to the channel in the fact that uh, he stalked me for a few weeks, found where I lived, showed it at my house, and I said, bro, just meet me at the shop. This is getting kind of weird. So he came down to the shop, and we can edit all that out. That makes you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> That's fine with me. Sure it's details. a true story. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, what happened is Zach um, was researching square bodies online, Fat, well, I'll let you tell the story. Why don't you yeah, so I've here? had um, I've had a Blazer since I was 16. My uncle gave it to me as my first car. Uh, drove it throughout high school, a little bit in college, what and year? then it's an '82 uh, K K5 diesel Blazer. Diesel, yeah, 6.2 diesel, uh, and I plan on keeping it that way, uh, despite some uh, some advice from Merrick to, to I like, LS swap I like it. Or, <laughs> I, like, I think it's Cummins great. maybe. Yeah. Ah. I mean, you're uh, doing 33s. So yeah, so ready. I've had it since high school, and since then I've been planning in the back of my head of doing this restoration someday when I have the money, when I have the garage space, when I have the time. Um, and I finally just came to this point where I was I was ready to do it. Um, so you this, had none of those things lined I up. I still don't have any of those things, but... Uh, <laughs> no money, no time, but, but whatever. A little bit of motivation, I guess. Yeah. And so I had been doing some research uh, this year, and. Uh, obviously doing some digging on YouTube, finding videos, and kept coming across this this guy, Merrick. And I was like, what does he know about blazers? So Not I kept watching a, a few videos. And then in one in the background, I was like, wait a minute, that looks like Santa Barbara. That looks familiar to me. So I realized he was right down the street from me or in Santa Barbara as well. So I stood, came by the shop, introduced myself, told you about my blazer, came by another day and talked about my plans for the blazer. And then I one day just DM'd you and I was like, hey, you what, you looking for a free apprentice that doesn't know at all yeah. what he's doing? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah come on by. tall, it can reach high things. Yeah, exactly. Win, win. Um, so yeah, so since then I've been helping out around the shop, uh, learning a lot from the guys and uh, talking about my build and, and planning out my build a little bit more. I'm moving to Colorado in uh, October and bringing the blazer out there with me. It's in Texas right now, so it's uh, gonna start the build uh, in the next month or two. Yeah, so, so this is a great opportunity to kind of hand the camera over to someone who is basically in, in the same position I was in about 10 years ago, which is a dream of building the blazer that, that, of his dreams, dream of building the driver. He had, he had a dream to build a killer blazer. Um, time, money, skill, parts, space, whatever. Those things will always be there. Um, you just decided to jump in and, and do it. There's no time like the present. So what we thought would be helpful is Zach is going to start documenting his build. When he gets back to Colorado, he's going to document everything he does to his truck. We're going to do a consultation that will be in a subsequent video uh, where we talk about like what his objectives are, uh, what his budget is, timeline, um, all those sort of things that are pertinent to how your build is going to go. Uh, I'll give him some knowledge as to like, hey, do this first, don't waste your time on that. Expect on planning this much money for this sort of thing. Basically what we do in a consultation, but it'll be a little bit more dynamic because we'll both be sitting here. And uh, I just think it's a good opportunity for someone who isn't me to do this. I mean, this is basically, you know, I'm, I'm sending Zach out into the world to flourish and he's gonna go build Bitchin' truck in Colorado, document it, fail miserably, pick himself <laughs> back up, and keep at it. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I know if, if that, there's a lot of you out there that were like me that are just watching videos all day, like excited about a potential build and, and love these trucks, but uh, maybe don't know how to get started. Uh, so first of all, I'm excited about the consultation to actually have a plan for moving forward and, and yeah. kind of the first steps of what to do to get started. That's the most intimidating thing to people. Yeah, just setting out like kind of a, a build yeah. timeline and everything like that. So I'm excited for all of it. 
And uh, like you said, I'm going to be failing miserably plenty of times and probably... That's the journey. Calling you up a few times from Colorado. And like you said, you'll probably just be laughing at me and tell me to figure it out, which... (laughs) I most definitely will be doing that. Which will work, yeah. Uh, But I'm I'm excited about all of it. Yeah, it's... I mean, this... Zach has drive, he has passion, and he has... You know, he's intelligent. So I know he's going to be successful with this. Just like anyone who's watching this... If you are seeking this out, you're in his shoes. So this is basically, you know, we've talked the talk, it's time to walk the walk. So um, thank you guys, look forward to bringing this new chapter to you. Um, Zach is gonna be leading this up, so if you don't see any videos on it, it's his fault. (laughs) Um, But yeah, any questions that you would like answered down below, just drop them down into the comments. Both of us will be watching the comments and answering and, yeah, maybe give some, I know you gave high level details, but just real quick, what are you looking to end up with? You got an 82 diesel, four by four. What would you like it to be at the end? Yeah, I'm looking for kind of a, a partial restoration. We're keeping it pretty classic. Uh, like we talked about 33 inch BFGs. 35, uh, 35. Maybe like a two to three inch lift. Four, four inch lift. Uh, of course, the roll cage uh, and a nice, you know, a nice paint job on it. And uh, otherwise, keep it fairly classic. Uh, right now, it's it's in good shape for the age that it is, but it, it needs some. It's a some, forty-five year old. Yeah, truck. it needs some yeah. TLC. So tell him what your dad recently said. Uh, what when, he, when he drove it back from the Oh, yeah. Well, he was driving it after he took it to a shop just to get some new batteries and kind of get it tuned up a little bit. Uh, he was driving it on some backcountry roads in Texas in the rain, and he said he was he didn't feel safe going over 35 miles an hour in it, uh, going around these country country roads because it was just swerving that, back and that's forth. That's the best part. Loose steering. Uh, he was like, I don't know if it's been a while since I've driven it or, or if cars have changed that much, but... Uh, cars I, have changed. Yeah. I was like, well, hopefully we're doing something to to, to improve that uh, yeah. throughout the build. So. Oh, we definitely are. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, like I said, comments down below. Click subscribe and watch this next video. We'll be back at you soon.